really glad to talk to you just a little bit about these uh, models today. Um, I have a lot of love for, especially Pilot. I was a product planner for Pilot actually on the very first mid-cycle change back in 06. Um, so I've been thinking about it for a long time. Um, these are two vehicles that are very important to us. Well over 200,000 units of volume last year and on track for uh, even more uh, this year. They're also the top and the bottom uh, or the entry and the high point of our SUV lineup. And they're both, both uh, vehicles that have been pretty significant um, in the growth of crossovers in the industry. Let's get into it, starting with Pilot. So Pilot launched back in the 03 model year. It was actually the very first um, seven or eight passenger uh, mainstream CUV, as a little fun fact. Um, so really was a big part of creating that segment that now is, is responsible for, for um, uh, lots and lots of units uh, in the industry. Um, it is a vehicle that has always been designed around the idea of the family adventure. Um, so that from the very beginning was a part of the concept and that's remained um, as part of the concept for this vehicle. So the idea is having the family friendly features, family friendly, friendly packaging, uh, but then placed on top of capability that would allow that family to go wherever they wanna go, whether it be Yosemite or a trip to the mall. And so for this year, we really wanted to upgrade the styling a little bit to match the capability of the vehicle a little bit better. Uh, there's new LED headlights, there's different accents, new fascias, all of these things designed to sort of hint a little bit more at the capability that lies uh, beneath the vehicle. We've also added um, a lot of new technology to this vehicle. So uh, Pilot now uh, comes standard with our Honda Sensing suite of safety and assist features. Uh, this provides crash mitigation, uh, automatic cruise control, lots of other features that, that go along with it and is really uh, something that we've seen is very important to the family buyers in, in this segment. There's also uh, cool new technology uh, throughout the lineup. Uh, one little example of it uh, that I like is, is our innovative cabin talk feature, which you may be familiar with in, in Odyssey. That's what allows parents to speak through a microphone into their headphones of their kids as they stream Doric the Explorer in the third row or whatever they're doing back there. Back. Little voice of God into their ears um, as, they, as they do those things. Um, and then all of that um, is on top of our um, all-wheel drive system that we call IV Tim 4. Um, it's our torque vectoring all-wheel drive system, and we think that this, this system, uh, which debuted quite a few years ago, continues to be uh, really the benchmark in the industry for torque vectoring all-wheel drive, certainly um, in this mainstream category, and we're really proud of it, and that's why you'll get a chance to uh, drive it um, here today on that off-road course that you might have seen as we pulled up to dinner last night. Um, unfortunately, we just have pilots out there. I kind of wish you had, we had an Explorer or a Highlander out there for you to get stuck maybe, but, uh, but you will be there with the pilot and you can get those stuck on your own time. Uh, <laughs> Uh, in terms of features, uh, this is a long list, and obviously you have this in your in your uh, deck there. So I won't go through everything, but again, some of the highlights. Uh, so Honda Sensing um, LED headlights, standard across the lineup um, on the EX and the EXL trims, which which really are our, our, our biggest volume trims, um, especially the EXL. Just some uh, some nice convenience and, and comfort features brought down uh, on our touring and elite models. Um, so we've got a few a few new things. Uh, so there's a new captain's chair option um, on our Touring. Um, that's something significant. And on both of those, an all new um, version of our entertainment and nav system, again, with, with cool features like the cabin talk, uh, new streaming options um, for with Wi-Fi and, and, and various things like that. That's all built um, uh, on a lot of value. And so uh, that's one of the things that we're, of course, uh, very proud of. It's, it's sort of a part of our, our Honda-ness, if I, if I dare say that. Um, the idea that, that, that when we give uh, customers all these things, we're gonna do so at a, at a value that really represents something special in the, uh, in the marketplace. And so the Pilot, um, shown here again um, uh, with our EXL uh, volume trim, uh, compares really well uh, to all of its competitors, uh, both in terms of features. Um, as you can see, the, the price uh, is, is actually better than, than all of them. Uh, and that's all, again, built uh, on top of uh, the incredibly capable all-wheel drive system and the really excellent um, interior packaging that we have. So that's Pilot. And then uh, I'll just spend a little bit of time uh, on HRV as well. Uh, this is a vehicle that internally uh, we like to refer to as our segment creator. Um, it's, it's, to me, honestly, kind of hard to believe this, lot, this vehicle launched here in the U.S. for the 2016 model year. And that segment basically didn't exist back then, even though it feels like it's been around now forever. Um, uh, it was one of the first subcompact uh, CUVs, obviously has enjoyed a lot of success. Um, and uh, we think the real recipe for success of the HRV is amazing versatility in a perfectly sized compact package and obviously built into there too at a really aggressive price. Um, so as this segment has exploded and, and grown, uh, we are growing our lineup as well. So the, the big thing for us this year is the launch of two new trims. So there's a new sport trim, 
that's kind of targeted at some of the younger people that are coming to this segment that maybe want one of these vehicles, but with maybe a little bit more attitude, a little bit more style. And there's a new touring trim, uh, which is a new top of the line uh, for us. Um, and it offers kind of a nice amount of luxury and features and tech in a very uh, aggressively priced and very compact uh, CUV. Um, there's also some great new features uh, for us this year. So this is the first time that Honda Sensing, again, our, our suite of safety features, um, is, is now available on the HRV. And that actually means now that, that now all of our volume models have Honda Sensing available. So that's something we're quite proud of. And again, we continue to uh, be a real industry leader in terms of the application of these features. It also gets um, Apple CarPlay, CarPlay, Android Auto, full LED headlights, and, and a few other things. Um, and we've worked a lot on the uh, drive, and as Sage mentioned, obviously we won't get a chance to drive it today, which is which is too bad, but um, the vehicle's much more refined, um, so we've improved the CVT pretty significantly. Uh, MBH is, is significantly improved as well, and then the steering and, and just the overall drive um, is, is improved. Again, in terms of features, uh, the, new, the, the, the important new things are the uh, Sport uh, trim and the Touring trim, so the Sport, bigger wheels, um, gloss black uh, trim pieces, uh, sport pedals, and, and various other things that you can see here. And then the Touring trim focused on more technology and luxury. So it's got things like standard navigation, full LED um, headlights, fog lights, power seat, and so on. And of course, uh, just like the Pilot, um, value is a really important part of our story. Um, as you can see here, uh, the HRV um, EX, this is our EX all-wheel drive, which is our, our volume model. Um, offers a better price than all of its competitors. Uh, the only exception, of course, is the Toyota, but that only comes in front wheel drive, so, so we think there's really no comparison there. And it does so with, again, what we think is the best packaging um, in the industry, frankly, um, in this type of a vehicle, and Honda Sensing and all of our other features.